Hello! In this video, you will see how to calibrate a thermoscientific Orion pH electrode and star A200 series benchtop meter. Before we start, you will need to prepare your pH electrode according to the electrode quick start guide and prepare your pH meter according to the meter instruction sheet shown here on the bench. In addition, gather the supplies that you will need, including some laboratory wipes, pH buffers at 4, 7, and 10, a stirring device, such as a stir plate and stir bar or a mechanical stirrer, a waste beaker, and a wash bottle of deionized water. To get started, we need to remove the electrode storage bottle from the pH triode by first unscrewing the top, removing the bottle, and then the cap. Rinse the pH triode and the mechanical stirrer with DI water from a wash bottle. Then, blot briefly and gently with a laboratory wipe. Put your electrode into the first buffer. In this case, we're starting with pH 4 buffer. Select the cal function on the meter by pressing the F1 key. Then, select Start by pressing the F3 key to begin the calibration. When using the mechanical stirrer, stirring will start automatically. If using a stir bar and a magnetic stirrer, start the stirring manually now. The pH reading will blink on the meter display until a stable reading is reached. When it is stable, it will stop blinking and the meter will automatically display the correct pH value for the buffer at the temperature measured by your pH triode or ATC probe, if you're using that. Otherwise, measure the temperature of the buffer and enter that value into the meter before calibration. We press Accept to complete the first calibration point. We press Next to move the next calibration point. Remove the electrode and stirrer from the buffer. Rinse thoroughly with DI water we want to remove all traces of the buffer. Blot gently and briefly. Then insert the electrode and stir into the second buffer, which is pH 7 buffer here. Press start on the meter. The pH will display and blink while waiting for the reading to stabilize. When the reading is stable, it will stop flashing and lock on the correct pH value for that buffer at the temperature measured. We choose the option to accept the second calibration point. Since we're doing a three-point calibration, we press Next for the last calibration point. Remove the electrode and stirrer from the buffer. Again, rinse well. We want to remove all traces of the buffer. Blot briefly and gently. Insert the electrode and stirrer into the third buffer. In this case, we're using pH 10. Press the Start button. Again, the reading will blink until it is stable. We can see all three calibration points on the meter display, including the pH, the millivolt value, and the temperature. When the reading is stable, the reading will freeze, and the correct pH value for that temperature will display. We will choose Accept. Since we're doing a three-point calibration, we are done. So we choose Cal Done. The average slope will display at the top of the calibration table. We have a slope of 99.1%, which is great. So we're all done. We press Measure, and we return to the Measure screen. We are ready to make a pH measurement.